Hi, I'm Pamela Dykehouse, the senior pastor here at First Church, and um, I am starting my fourth year um, under the appointment of our bishop as, uh, as your pastor. If any of you have thought much about what a pastor does, um, you, might, you might think that this is going to go on for a while, because the job of a pastor is it's really big. I mean, there's a lot of different facets to it. Uh, everything from, you know, what you see here in the office of administering the life of the church, ordering the life of the church, but leading worship and preaching and teaching, um, and pastoral care, caring for, for people, uh, both in our congregation and in the community, connecting church and community and helping the church to fulfill our mission of making disciples um, of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Um, and that, that transformation part is really important. Um, it's not just my job to, to maintain the life of the church as is, but also to help the church um, to grow, to have a vision for the future, um, and to reach out beyond the walls of the church uh, so that new people can come into relationship with Christ. And to hold in balance um, that sense of call and reaching out into the world with also caring for um, the church itself, the church that's already established. I think people know a lot about me because I use personal illustrations sometimes in my preaching. Um, maybe some people have not picked up on the fact that I grew up here locally on the Welder Wildlife Refuge and that's a really important part of my life story and a really unique um, piece of my life that I'm thankful for. Uh, that I got to grow up in such a unique environment around people doing research and caring for God's creation. So FUMC is the first church that I've served that has such a large staff and uh, honestly initially that was a rather intimidating part of working here because it does take a lot of my my time and attention on a daily basis um, to, to be the you know, chief administrator of the church um, besides being the pastor of the people. And um, what has happened though is that I've grown to love that part of my job. Uh, the relationships that I have with the other staff members, the ways in which it becomes um, a supportive network for me in my work, and also um, the ways that we get to empower and um, kind of amplify each other's gifts for the kingdom of God. And um, I love seeing people grow in what they are able to do and um, being given new opportunities um, to serve in new ways. But what I love is that I get to do this for a living. Um, I felt a sense of God's call on my life when I was a child. Um, a call to serve God through the church. Had no idea what that meant. It kind of blossomed uh, into my young adult life until I understood as ministry as a pastor in the local church. And I just think it's the coolest thing in the world that this is what I get to wake up and do every day. And that would mean there are really tough days or some really hard things about doing this work. Um, but most of the time I just marvel that God has chosen to use me and that I get to do this um, as my full-time vocation. Um, I cannot imagine a better way um, to spend my life. I'm so thankful for it.